Welcome to my channel. My name is Alexis and today's video is going to be on 13 tools every curly girl needs. All right, we're gonna jump right into it, but before we do, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to join the fam. Tool number one, a good detangling brush. This should be super high on your priority list. You definitely need a good detangling brush to prevent breakage and to save you a lot of time in the shower. I know everybody's got their favorite when it comes to brushes, but personally, I think this one is the best. I've tried a lot of different brushes and I've never had an easier detangling process. So you definitely need this. Number two, a bore bristle brush. This one is really nice because it's double sided. It makes it really easy to do updos and slick down hairstyles. And I really feel like this is essential in your curly girl collection. Tool number three, a spray bottle. Spray bottles are great for refreshing your hair, styling it, or giving it some extra moisture throughout the week. Number four, a curly girl cannot use just any kind of hair tie. When sleeping, you should use something that's not gonna cause a lot of friction, which can turn into breakage. So I always like to use these satin scrunchies when I'm going to bed. I have this larger one, and then I have these guys, which are normal size scrunchies, but I interchange them depending on if I'm trying to stretch my hair or just put it up in a pineapple. I'm always using these. Now for styling, I use these really thick elastic hair bands. If I get the normal ones, my hair tends to just wear them down and then they just break on me when I have my hair up in a ponytail and it's just, yeah. So I always get these ones because I know that they're reliable, they're thick, and they're not gonna let me down. Number five. A pick. Picks are great for if you wanna give your hairstyle a little bit more volume or just a little bit more life. You can just pick out your hair and it kinda makes it like this big, fluffy, amazing mane. This has definitely come in handy when I have had braid outs and twist outs and stuff so I can really separate my curls and make my hair look how it's supposed to. Number six, an edge brush or a toothbrush, whichever you can get your hands on. Edge brushes are the bomb, especially if you have unruly edges or if you're just really into detail. I really love playing my baby hairs up. So this guy is definitely essential for me. And I really love this one because it's actually similar to the brush I showed previously, a boar bristle brush. Essentially like a tiny version of it, which is great because it really slicks down my edges and gives me a lot of control when I'm trying to style them. Number seven, a microfiber towel. So microfiber towels are great because they don't cause a lot of friction. So they're not pulling at your hair when you're putting it up or putting a towel around it because cotton normally does that or regular towels do that. If you can't get your hands on a microfiber towel, use a t-shirt. This one was given to me by a friend, but I also have a really great one by Diva Curl, and I think I just got it at Ulta. Number eight, a diffuser. This blow dryer has spared me many hours of wet hair. My hair takes literally forever to dry, so this is really nice because it speeds up that process without damaging my curls, and that's what this diffuser actually does, is it dries your hair without disrupting your curl pattern. It also helps a lot with volume, and if you use it right, it can actually enhance your natural curl pattern. Number nine, a silk or satin bonnet or a pillowcase. I have a pillowcase upstairs, but I also do sleep in this every night. It protects your hair from breaking off, and it also helps you retain that moisture so you can go longer in between wash days. Number 10, a shower cap. This was one I got at Walmart. It's amazing, it has a satin lining, so it protects my hair from the water and from breakage. Like, how great is that? I wash my hair about every four days, I would say. So this helps me in between wash days to make sure that my hair doesn't get wet when I get in the shower. Number 11, a headband. I mostly use these when I'm in the gym to make sure that my hair is out of my face. And this one actually has dry sweat technology. So it actually absorbs your sweat while you're working out. Also, if you don't want your hair in your face, this is just a really cute option for a hairstyle. Number 12, a hot cap. This right here will take your deep conditioning to a whole nother level. This is especially great for my low porosity girls. It really helps your deep conditioner penetrate your hair. This one is actually made out of flaxseed, so it's really durable. And it was a gift, so I'm not really sure where my mom got it, but I think she got it on Amazon. Last but not least, 13, a scarf. I got this scarf on Amazon, and it has literally been one of the best purchases I've ever made. I use it to lay down my baby hairs. I use it if I'm just around the house, I use it for hair styling. There's just so many different things that you can do with a scarf and it has been so good to me. And you can get these in all sorts of patterns. So if you really are into using these for hairstyles, you can just switch it up all the time. And it actually protects your hair while you're doing it. So you can like look cute and protect your hair. 
It's a no-brainer. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys are able to get a hold of these things. They really helped me maintain my hair and I really think they could help you guys. So hopefully you guys find some value in this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.